Good morning. Welcome. Uh, let me get chat open real quick. There we go. Good morning and welcome. Getting my everything set up here. Good morning. Oop, I forgot to change my title. Do that in just a second. <clears throat> Oop, I forgot to change my title. Do that. And I forgot to mute myself. Okay, so there we go. So that should be all set there tab okay and right, let's put DDO stream chat over here I try to watch both chats while I do it this way Alrighty, so let me get the title fixed. You can take the splash screen down while we do that. It's not the one that I want. Where's the splash screen? Right there. Alrighty. Multitasking here. Thirteen Shoemaker DDO Okay, 
There we go. Okay, I think I have everything set up now. Hey, excellent. My bitrate is right where I have it set. Awesome. Oh, cool. Nice. Alrighty. Let's get the wiki back up and get started. How was everybody today? You know what? Let me check something. I haven't done a giveaway in a very, very long time. What do I have to give away? <clears throat> I have a starter pack, and I have one DP code left. <sighs> hmm. I have two starter packs, one DP code. I think we'll do a DP code giveaway today. So let me get the um, application running for that. Uh, where is that? Let's see here. That's on the UMA drive, fall of 15. Yes. Get that opened up. Hey, Todd, how's it going? <clears throat> Pairing solution. Start application. Shrink this, drag this over in the middle here. Add screen capture source. Alrighty. Blow it up so you guys can see it. There we go. We're going to do 500 DP if we get 10 people today. So let's go through our list. I will count people in both channels, um, either in the official DDO stream channel or in my personal channel, even though you won't see the personal channel ones show up on screen. Oh, let's see here. So it looks like Todd is number one. T O D D. S H Y W. That makes number one. Oh, it's been so long. Um, I think this is episode 77. So it's been six episodes since I've done one, a giveaway. Excellent. Good morning, Crazy Trickster. I see you in my chat there. 
I will add you to the giveaway. Make sure I have it spelled right. That makes number two. Excellent. So if you're watching and you're not just lurking, type something into chat, either chat, anything. And I look forward to seeing your messages. And when I do, I will add you to the giveaway. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's take a look at the wiki. Alright. Let's add just another one. New viewer, new streamer that I've seen. Just getting started in streaming. Maybe once we get a stream going a little bit better, or her stream going a little bit better, we can um, see if maybe it would be appropriate to add them to the DDO stream channel schedule at some point. But still need to work on the, the layout a little bit. Alrighty. Alrighty here, let's see here. So we were gonna go to recent changes. Let's take a look. <coughs> In the last week, actually, I didn't stream last week and I probably won't be streaming next week because I have a doctor's appointment. I called up to make a doctor's appointment and the only thing they had was a cancellation opening Tuesday morning at 8.20. So um, I won't be able to make it for DDO Wiki Talk next week. Otherwise, I would have had to wait till January, and that was just too far out. Alrighty. So we were going to do two weeks worth, 14 days. September 4th. Yep, that would have been it. Okay, so September 4th. Here's our DDO stream stuff on the 5th. After that, had a little bit of a talk on Item Talk Wind Howler Bracers. An unsigned comment, so maybe somebody can help with that because I don't think anybody ever hands answered the question. Uh, Template spam block, got a little bit of a cleanup. Maintenance templates, broaden definition. I don't think I've seen that. Instant delete, added to maintenance. Ah, so a bunch of stuff added to maintenance templates, that's good. I hadn't even noticed that until now. Warforge stabilized. That's a new section, we'll take a look at that. Some discussions, shrinking bolt. That looks like another discussion that could use some help. Item talk, turret requisition. That's been an ongoing discussion. Wind Howler Bracers. Okay, so there was some back and forth there. Companion certificates. Excellent. Lamania based stuff. Turret requisition, deletion log, temp named rune arm has had some discussion. Um, I'm not going to click on that because I know it's further up. It's that the, the section has changed. Let's see here, DR, DR discussion. Artificer, no idea, maybe. Ah, free spells. Welcome you. Satan was blocked. Even though they were making useful contributions, Satan is not an acceptable username. So if Satan would get a hold of me, we can 
discuss changing his username or her username. Description. New section. Okay. F Iran and North Korea got blocked. Unacceptable username. Item description. Couple discussion dis discussions going on there. I am doing a giveaway this week for 500 DDO points. So if you're in chat, make sure that you say hi. I finally went through and did all the merges that we requested. Back from September of 2016, almost exactly a year later. Template talk quest. New extra new line. I don't know that I've responded to that yet. Ah, here we go. This is where the title change for that. Another discussion we can look at. We're getting there. Stacks to 50. I don't know why that was put on the talk page. Okay. Added a graphic, could someone add to augment page? I hadn't seen that yet. Let's take a look at that. Looks like crew might have already taken care of it. More transclusions to do. Let's take a look at that one. Character can't move. That one. Post a welcome on their talk page. <coughs> September 18th. We're almost there. Alright, so that's all of the recent changes in the last two weeks. Anybody know if these work with thrown weapons back from 2016? Just range, not thrown per the description. So it's still a mixed whether or not it actually works or not with thrown. But the description says it's not supposed to. So if it is working with thrown, then that's a bug. And it should be squashed. Alright, so let's see here. It's still technically a maintenance category in of itself. So, is it true that Warforge automatically stabilize? I believe it's already on the Warforge page.
I gotta remember where that is. I know that it's a feat that they get. I, I think it's a feat that they get. But it's not something they get right away. It's part of the core. I don't remember where it is. I don't remember what the range of un unconsciousness could be expanded to anymore. I know it can be expanded quite a ways out. Like minus 45, I think. Is that correct? You can go to minus 45? Or was it some other number? Last I knew it was 45 comes to mind. I don't know, let's leave that one alone. Sonic damage is scaling with something. MP, RP, or SP, not exactly sure. Because I see many times damage amount exceed margin 60. Need more investigation. Well, okay. Let's um, mark that as unsigned. Um, September is 09, 06, I don't know what the seconds were, so let's try that for a date. No. I hate it when they don't work right. <clears throat> okay, so that's the format that it wants. Time. Stamp, month, day, year. That should work, right? Why not?
doesn't like the commas in there, I think. same format. Oh. Try this. Fifteen. O for E D T S E P T six two oh one seven O one seven. I bet there's a character in there that I can't see that's breaking it. Yep, okay, so there was a um a hidden line feed in there that was breaking it. There we go. Add an unsigned to that. Working as intended. Okay. So, an example shows ZR10 as... ZR1010, I'd rather see it TR10. Difference on adherence. I'd make change myself. ZR10 looks okay to me, to be honest. It should be typed as DR10, but meh. So, they look the same, right? However, when you edit it, you can see what the differences are. So, an example shows DR10 as DR1010, blah, blah, blah. So, DR10 slash looks okay to me. To be honest, it should be typed as DR10 type equals dash, but meh. I recently changed how this template works. A little to be able to accept multiple DR values for difficulty settings, i.e. normal, hard, elite, epic, normal, epic, hard, epic, elite type. I can look into keeping that ability and defaulting to slash dash, which I actually did in the very next edit on the template itself. <clears throat> Fix slash dash. So minor little change to get rid of the ones there so that it defaults to dash instead of whatever's in one. Complex code, but all fixed.
Why are spells on list as 2 plus 2 and so on? No idea. It was something mostly done by Neoni. In this series of edits, I'm going to guess it means you get slots. You can swap spells plus 2 granted as part of a feeder's enhancement. It's because artificers and druids can choose spells which don't cost a spell slot. For artificers, repair and inflect are free. For druids, summon nature's ally spells are free. The X plus Y means you can choose a minimum of X plus up to Y additional free spells. It's kind of like um, inherent spells for clerics. Where the first spell has to be the healing spell. Or I think on... Um, Wizard and Sork, you have to have repair spells or something like that. I don't remember. Let me actually throw up an LFM. For one to thirty. There we go. Hide in a corner. Good morning, Vrazi. It is very early. Is it very early? All right, let's add you there. 40% of the way to the goal. Yay! We got Todd, Crazy Trickster, just another one, and Vrazzy so far. Wait a minute. Does that pop up? It does. Good. Okay. We started 40 minutes ago. Not that early. Is this description any, any obsolete? Not anymore, it isn't. Unbound or bound to account on acquire. The ones that you buy in game are unbound, and the ones that you buy from the store are bound to account, or the other way around, I don't remember. Ah, so BTA marks can be purchased. So that means unbound must be from the store. Item description images. Whew, wall of text. Wait, what's that? Oh, the welcome. Okay. Hi there, so you've uploaded a bunch of description images, suggest making them exactly 420. Not, it's actually not an official policy. It's not a bad idea because of the way that it's coded, which is explained later in the post here.
Is there any other place image size in pixels is important? There are icons, but I haven't added many icons, so I'm not really familiar with the usual sizes. Um, we've actually had a few discussions about trying to standardize the size of icons, and it's never really gone very far. Um, basically, as long as it's square, the bigger that you can make it and still be clear, the better. It's less likely to lose quality by shrinking it than it is by expanding it, and the only requirement is that it's square. So, if you make a 512 by 512 and it has to shrink it down to 30 by 30, so be it. It's not going to lose much quality, assuming it's not too defined. Absolutely. I know, it's wiki talk is boring as heck. But, some people enjoy it. What's wrong with them? I don't know. Oh, let's see here. There's a general rule with presentational raster images that display within a web page that have been given a fixed pi pixel, both height and width. Or relativity given a height and width override. Best to use raw image size dimensions that are similar to the set placeholder, squeeze stretched or distorted to fill the allotted space. Blah, 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 blah. So it is hard-coded in there that it's 420. Because that's the width of the... the, the In-game, the width of the description images themselves from the edge of the ear to the edge of the ear... Um, on the wings is 420, so that's why it's set to that, um, or relatively close to 420, I think it's like 419, but we wanted it at 420 to make it an even number. And this is one of the things that will be fixed up in the named item rewrite. I will be making it so that it's not hard-coded anymore to be 420 on the picture itself. Um, the picture will be inside of a container, which is sized the way that it needs to be. Um, and then the picture will fill that slot, either be too small or, you know, it'll, it'll be centered in whatever slot size slot that ends up being. Okay, so max dex bonus. I haven't read this one yet. Not saying that you're not right. Perhaps the items were changed, but maybe you're using a character with a plus two max dex bonus from somewhere. Perhaps even ship buffs. Perhaps double check with a fresh character. This is from my talk page four plus years ago. You won't by any chance have be using a character with max dex plus two, enhancement or ED for armor screenshots. Been noticing the armor max dex bonus are higher when than what they were, and I'm seeing on my screenshot and newly created level one. Uh, mobility apparently does it. Ah, okay. So let's add a little note here. Since this has been a recurring situation, would it be appropriate in your opinions to add a note in the template for this to watch out for this issue or 
not worth the hassle of figuring out a way to do it since it mostly seems related to uploading images. Perhaps in a guideline or quote unquote policy some place. There we go. Good morning, Phoenix. Let's add you to the giveaway. F E N I X Wind Ale ninety three save 50% of the way there and we're not even 50% of the way through the stream yet and most people show up in the second half because apparently 8 a.m. Eastern uh, 7 6 5 a.m. Pacific time is just too early in the morning I don't get it all right so talk template talk quest so we got what do we got here lagging this could use a flagging item. I believe it already has. Needs to have parameters updated. We've already gone through that. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing another... I'm doing a 36-hour live stream starting on September 26th on my personal channel. Um, I was going to do it at 8 a.m. starting with DDO Wiki Talk and then just run straight through. However, my doctor's appointments got it bumped out. So... I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. i got to check my calendar and see if I can do it from like 10 to 10. Or if that might be too much after doing a doctor's appointment. Um, I might have to reschedule that, that live stream. Uh, bonus XP notes. This should really go on its own line. Good morning, Mez. Let's add you to the giveaway. M-E-S-M-E-R-I-T-A... I'm surprised I haven't seen Titan this morning, or Nerv, Niv, Neb, I can never pronounce his name. Oh, uh, let's see here. Done, looks good. Bonus XP notes, okay, optional XP. Can we get this set up from the objective more qu quickly, more distinctly? Optional kill, Temp this looks shabby, yes, I still need to work on that. It will be the collapse section at this. And yes, I'll be formatting it. Prefer when I get to the formatting stage of the revamp. I guess we could do that today. I haven't had any discussion on that since July. So that's two months. Two and a half months. Actually, let's do this. Uh, let's see here. Not the 26th on Oct I won't be streaming on October 3rd either. Oh. October 10th?
fucking not funny! Hey! Thank you for the follow on my personal channel. Luke. Loot. Loot Cutwitch. You said hi, that's all you have to do. I will add you in just a moment. I was focusing on what I was typing and didn't see you right away. But I would have gotten to you. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to this deck episode that will have given everyone three whole months, not old months. Feel free to tune in on DDO stream hosting my personal Technical 13 for the stream. You can even pop in on Nope, not the shoe store. It's actually DDO Wiki. see here where's discord and why it does that Soon, TM. All right, let's see here. I don't have an on Discord template. I need to create one of those. We have an on Twitch. Let's grab on Twitch. If equals Discord. This is empty. Actually. Yeah, if this is if this is empty, then
discord.gg slash invite else discord.me slash discord.me Actually, let's make it if invite is empty, then discord.me should be there. Otherwise, use the invite. What's that, Luke? L O U T K Twitch. Seventy percent. Woohoo! Okay. And number 32. Actually, I don't need that. I just put a space there like that. It'll, it'll automatically trim it out. If... Equals channel... Empty... Channel Okay, so channel type type text channel in okay
All right, do a show preview. Video stream on Discord. Excellent. EGN 15M, thank you for the follow. Absolutely, there is a DDO Wiki Discord channel. There's also a DDO Stream Discord channel. If it's empty... If invite and me are empty, then... Just do the label part. But make it bold. Excellent. Save. <clears throat> now let's do a show preview. Next episode, most likely October 10th, that will have given everybody three months to throw feedback, ideas, suggestions at me. Please feel free to tune into DDO stream on Twitch. Hosting my personal Technical 13 on Twitch for the stream. You can even pop in on live stream voice channel on the live stream voice channel in DDO stream Discord. Excellent. And give feedback to help shape it in a way that pleases your eyes. Excellent. Welcome to the Discord channel, Hunter Radar. Alrighty. Make sure that you do um, percent roll me reader, like it says. If you're a reader, if you're an editor, do um, bang w user and your username on wiki. If you're not a user on wiki and you'd like to be, there should be a link there to take you to the create an account page. Alrighty. So quest failure. Extra. I'm gonna have to create that category. Extra new line. Oh, I got ding ding game. Hey, Vol Shutter Kai. No, Afro, you can't join me for a party in game. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Edit. It's just category links to thing. Excellent. Category links to Discord. <sighs> of 
course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to have to follow this one as well. Discord links. External links. Excellent. That'll be the end of the line for that one. Doing some actual editing. We added a template, some categories. Excellent. This can be viewed in quests such as the Friar's Niece. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. We can fix that today. We still got 50 minutes already. Let's see here. Questions. I have a f that's kind of a long post. Let's see if we can take care of the short ones first. Added a graphic. Could somebody add to augment page? I submitted a JPEG of a Venn diagram. Ooh, it's a GIF. Okay. Somebody put a link or sidebar of this on the augment page. I'm a hack with HTML. I'm afraid to do it myself. So it's been added to augment slot augments. Augments at a glance. Ooh, that does look nice. Let's view the image, blow it right up. Visual augment guide. Augments for Kenneth Crafting. Ruby named augments purple, red, or orange. Deconstructor is min level 26 or 28. Interesting. Named diamond named augments any color. Gift to the master. Festive intelligence. Festive wisdom. Vitality. Cool. Ruby eye named augments. We got a little bit of a color discrepancy there. You're Red starts with a purple R. Same thing with your blue there, starts with a green. Your table doesn't quite fit inside of your red circle there. Um... What was that other one that I'm thinking of called? Uh, you got this one correct. Although orange is hard to see on that background. What is that augment? Oh, that's right. It's a skill augment. There's no note about the um, disabled device, I think it is, being only min level 26 for a plus 15 when slotted into um, the trinket from Haunted Halls. But I guess that's a Spe special snowflake there. Oh, that pain not funny. Hey, Gag, thank you for the follow on my personal channel.
All right, so let's add you to the giveaway here. G-A-G-N-A-S-K-Y. 80%. Only need two more people in the next 45 minutes to do the giveaway at the end of the stream. 500 DDO points. Item talk. Stacks to 100. Image on the main page was most likely taken from a mouse over of the barter box. As in the inventory, the name loses the greater. Check the screenshot on the main page while I had the item in The mouse over the item does not display target duration school or spell resistance. I think instead the plural form of the name is incorrect, similar to greater gem of freezing tides. Thanks for pointing this out. Broke one away from the stack and the greater reappeared. The single but remaining 99 were still missing the greater. Ah. So what is shown here? Ah, okay. Good, and it's tagged with, with bug, game bugs. Excellent. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. So apparently, the template used here, was a template used? I should look at that. Consumable. Okay, so the consumable template needs a stack size parameter, apparently. Let's see if we can add that. Hey, KK. Thank you for following my stream. Feel free to say hi in chat, either in my chat or in the DDO stream chat. Should go up there. All right, let me add both of your names to the giveaway here. I had KK Oliver, and we have Vol Ump. Oh. Hey, Vol. I recognize your name now. We've run together a few times. There, we now have our 10 minimum needed people. 
we will do the giveaway at the end of the stream. That'll give everybody else that joins this, e this afternoon, this morning, the second half of the stream here, plenty of time to join in. All right. So I did a show preview, right? Another one? Really? There you go. Follow the DDO stream channel. Okay, so that's an extra. Stack size 100, show preview. Let's try this again. All right, so that looks good there. Oh, copy paste. Okay, that's why. If it's going to be default, I want it to be italic so that we can very easily distinguish the ones that are defaulting and the ones that have been manually set. You know what? It is 9.20 a.m. It is time to refill the coffee cup. Where is the coffee cup? Oh, why am I not showing up there? That's right. Why is that not going? Video, stream, live stream. I am in voice, right? I am in live. Oh, no wonder. My microphone has been muted. Why am I muted? Okay, so that should fix that. That's really weird. All right, can you see? Ah, there we go. Let me get the coffee cup. Do, 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 do. D20 mug. Because I'm the DM. That's why. Time to refill our coffee cups. Ah. Coffee refill time! Yay! I am out of milk. So I have to use this non-dairy creamer backup stuff that I have in the cabinet. Not great, but I guess it'll be fine. Rinse off my stirring fork. Throw it back in the sink. Go dry my hands. take a look at something real quick. Okay, so I can actually be streaming on October 3rd. Let me update that. What was the name of the gem you just updated? I have no idea. Let's make the blue D20 go away. Ah, 
So I actually haven't updated a gem. That was the consumable page itself. We were looking at a talk page, though. Let me open up my history here. History. We have this visual augment guide. Is that what you're looking for? That shows all the gems and it's it needs a little bit of work, but it's a, it's a great start. I like I love the idea. Is this what you're looking for? What else do we have in the history? Nothing really. Air. Oh, okay. We didn't actually edit that. That was a talk page. Uh, let's see here. History. Recently closed. Hmm. It's not showing up. Um, it was okay. Page slash. Item, item talk, greater gem of ocean winds. This one. All right, so let's edit this. We can get rid of the max stack size information from this page. Bug should be indented a little bit further. Good morning, Ed. Let's add you to the giveaway here. There we go. That sounds familiar, but I, I, I'm not putting it all together in my head. Bronze Maluco. Hey, thanks for the follow. Bronze. Add, save. Okay, shrink. Ah.
now it's there. All right, let's give this person a welcome. Oh yeah, that's right. We're just gonna welcome them as as DDO stream. Why not? Ah, shows up as Cobalt Worker. Whatever. Talk. Character can't move. My guild leader can log in normally, move around as usual for a couple minutes, then he gets locked in place and cannot move, interact with NPCs, or change weapons. He can still see my dot moving on the minimap, can still chat and see chat, use voice chat, accept party requests, and move around inside the windows and such as the menu and inventory. However, even the logout feature and slash stuff do not function. Anybody else know about this issue and have a potential fix? Double signed. Double signed is better than no signed. Um, if tumbling doesn't work and relogging doesn't work, I would look at his network settings. Chances are he has a desync somewhere that's causing him to stop moving. Maybe open up the command window and do an IP config um, release renew. More transclusions. Much of the information is duplicated of Treasure Cove. I think we have more transcluding to do, so we don't have to edit stuff twice. I agree, but I'm not. But I'm going to get as much info out of the event as I can before it ends. I'll come back and do transclusions for consumables, wands, bottomless flasks after that. Sounds good to me. Personally, if it's in the barter box, how are we doing this? Let's take a look at it. Looks fine on my big screen. However, if I was to move this over to my other screen, the one that I usually view the wiki on, this table would be way too wide. Um, I would trim it down. Find some way to shrink it. Um, I would use a, uh, I would, I would comma, comma separate the numbers. Not much there. And I probably would get rid of the term, the duplication of the term. When you go back to clean it up, um, I would get rid of that and just, I mean, you got the icon, you don't need the words for it as well. Everybody knows copper, silver, and gold. And if they don't, well, it's right here. Copper, silver, gold. Um, as far as this goes, I'd probably get rid of the words for these two. I mean, it's there on mouse over. Although there are some duplication of the same icon for different things. I don't know. Oh, that's way too wide, too. And that's as tight as it can be, really. Hey, Teasel, thank you for the follow on my personal channel. Welcome to the Technical 13 slash Shoemaker channel. 
don't currently have my webcam going. I don't even have it set up. It seems to be missing. But um, I'll re-add it at some point. I've got it here, just not set up. Duplication of Treasure of Crystal Cove loot. That's why it wasn't on the list. We never finished the save. It's fun. Somebody's got to do it, right? Okay, so we got hats in here. So this is some place that I would... That would be awesome. Cheers, subscriptions, donations are always welcome. Not required. All right, so let's see here. It's got categories. Let's fix that, first of all. It is in categories. So what I'm thinking is um, this page would be a great candidate for LST, um, which is labeled section transclusion. It will let you edit the sections on the barter box page and then transclude them one at a time into here so that you can make minor changes. Oh, that's a pet peeve of mine. I like to have spaces in here in the titles. And we've got some bad CSS there, which will have to be cleaned up at some point. But I'm not doing it right now, because it would take me too long. Oh, it looks like this page is mostly transclusion anyway, from the item pages themselves. Woohoo! There's a subscription. Thank you very much. Okay, so it is categorized. All right, KK, so um, what I'm gonna say is instead of editing the Euphoria's page itself, edit the actual item pages. And um, it will automatically update this page. And then we will do transclusion on the... Um, Euphoria's barter box page as well, just like this, so that it will be in both places transclude from the items themselves. Okay. Excellent. So then it's all transclusion anyway. So I wouldn't worry about Cruz comment too much. Barter box. Let's take a look at that one real quick. I don't know why I'm so laggy at the moment. Okay, yep. That's a long discussion. Okay. So let's take a look at the source for this.
Ah, okay. The line is, is deprecated. We don't use it anymore. All right, let's see here. It's the line left. That's correct. It's just missing the semicolon, which isn't required, but I like it to be perfect and clean. There's too many of them. I'm not going to bother with it right now. They should all be added. So that table is there. This I am going to replace. So yeah, I'd use LST for that. Label section transclusion. Consumables. The line has been deprecated for a very long time. And actually, if we put this here, we shouldn't need it on each line here. All of these should be replaced with style equals text align left. That's in horrible condition. Okay. So this needs a lot of uh, HTML, CSS formatting. You have a great day as well, Teasel. Same thing with this table. If we go like this, don't need these. Those should all be replaced. I should run the bot here. Ah, okay, here's here's a transclusion. That's good. Yes. There's an option to reset all, but to rebind the changes would take some time. Reset all what? Are you in the wrong chat, Edward? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. All right, so is this the page that you were having transclusion size issues on? It wouldn't surprise me because you got a row template, then you got multiple enhancement templates, you got pop up templates. It's loaded with templates.
some of that you can you can actually clean up some of that on those by transcluding um, no substituting the contents of the template instead of transcluding it. Alrighty, so let's see here. How many pages use template consumable? 135. How many of them are in the item namespace? Looks like there's 125 that need to be gone through and checked for item stack size. There you are, Edward. Welcome. Alrighty. 15 minutes left, and then we do the drawing. Alright, so named room arm. That's a long one. That's something we were actually going to work on if we had time. All right, let's read through this and see if we get time left after. Two suggestions for this template for named room arm. The normal place to add cosmetic views of items is limited to 60 by 60 because the template expects the icon for the rune arm shot to be used. However, this means there is nowhere to add a picture of the room arm actually looks like when worn. For candlelight, I've added the picture to the bottom of the page temporarily. There was a help improve flag on candlelight saying no orb. If the orb image is important, should it also be part of the template? That's where the 60 by 60... Well, that's a good question. That's not where the 60, uh, 60 by 60 is. Let's see. For craftable rune arms, maybe after disjunction image should be part of the template itself. Because adding it under notes seems sloppy. I 180% agree. Or maybe there should be something indicating which properties are lost after disjunction. That's a good option. The base value durability and hardness of the rune arm changes when it's disjuncted. After disjunction values should probably be included in the template. Probably. If it's something that can be statically indicated. Some rune arms have absolute minimum level, but not part of the template. Not sure if this is ever used since Candlelight maintained its minimum level. When I disjuncted it, but maybe some arms do use a lower minimum level. No idea. I haven't actually disjuncted them all to find out. The damage displayed can be wrong for the rune arm shot. For candlelight, tier 1 should be 3d6. Or 3d2 plus 1 per artificial level, but it's displayed as... Um, 4 to 10 plus 1d2 per artificial level. For all the... Other named item templates, there is a line that indicates what type of item it is. For example, item, armors have armor type, and accessories have item type. But rune arms have never explicitly stated the item is a rune arm. This may seem trivial, but I can see someone unfamiliar with the game being unsure of what an item like candlelight is. The durability of rune arms will always display as unknown regardless of what is entered. Um, so, Lord Silverhand said for number three, which is disjunction image. In my honest opinion, the place to do this would be enhancements, similar to how item upgrade, how upgradable items, Caneth challenge, blah blah blah, do just add after disjunction. This room arm loses the following attributes, and then a list of what stuff goes poof. Not sure what to do about this. For number four, base value durability changes. The template would have to be completely changed to show both. No idea how difficult it would be to have durability and durability post disjunction. 
5, I'm pretty sure the AML was added to fix a bug exploit which allowed really high crafted numbers on an RA that was ML1. It was some weird jiggle, jiggery pokery that required doing specific stuff under old crafting system as well as specific stuff under new, making it impossible to do on new RAs. So the AML was added to re retroactively adjust these broken RAs, the particular numbers themselves, too lower than the ML of RA were to avoid breaking RAs, which had masterful craftsmanship added under the old system, which lowered the ML by two. So it's used, but only by broken RAs, really should be part of the template. No idea how to do this. Template should be really directly edited. Please create a sandbox with your suggested changes and we can review them. Um, I didn't have time to read the whole thing right now, but I'll try to remember later. Um, in my opinion, L3, 4, 5, and 7 need changing in the template itself. I suggest classifying rune arm as type of weapon since that's where it shows up in the secondary inventory tab despite being its own category in the age. One should definitely be considered. Why are we using generic icon instead of the picture? And eight is just plain broken. Not sure if three and four can be done to show only when a craftable tag is marked yes, but that would be cool if it could. But yeah, a lot of these require direct template editing to be fixed. Well, that's why I said do it on a sandbox. You can copy the template to a sandbox, directly edit the sandbox, create a test cases page, to do a test case to see how the sandbox reacts um, and not actually mess with the template that's used on dozens of other pages, potentially breaking them, causing the wiki to crash. So, okay, so I have a little time. One is a known issue will be resolved when named item is finally done. Two, too many images make the page cluttered, ugly, and hard to read. We should have a discussion about what images are really important. Three, thinking of allowing multiple pick descripts pictures in to be in the slot where current image goes and let all except the default vanilla item as it drops be collapsed where they can be expanded, collapsing the other expanded ones. That will be a lot of table and span div HTML, CSS, magicry. Um, maybe even JavaScript. I'm not sure if I can do it without JavaScript or not. We'll need more information on this. What do they change to? Is there a formula? Absolute minimum level is more, a more and more common thing and will be included in a new template named item. This has always been an issue due to Turbine's inconsistency here. Yes, I said Turbine and I meant it. There is supposed to be a way to override the base for this, but I have no idea if it is currently working. You are supposed to be able to set like um, damage die or something like that to a specific number or setting and it would automatically update all of that based on what you put in. But I don't know if it's working as intended, or if it was changed, or if it was never working properly. I, I really don't remember. It was a long time ago I created it. Um, seven, required trait, artificial rune arm use, enhancement, enchantments, rune arm and brew, and being a member of category rune arm doesn't make it clear enough this is a rune arm? Question mark. I think there are more than enough indicators for what the item is without adding a line of redundant text. And number eight was just a plain old bug that was fixed. Um, KK made, Oliver made a mock-up of the suggested templates in a sandbox. Um, created a sandbox on the candlelight rune arm. So that's the original candlelight. This is the test cases. We should take a look at test cases and add the um, test case template to it. Uh, let's see here. One, I put cosmetic image in the same place. It is for other named items in the upper right corner. I don't think the orb image is necessary or useful. I think the orb image, personally, I think the orb image looks better than the cosmetic image, and it's more generic, so it, it looks the same as the cosmetic image, I believe, except that it's generic and it's not on a character. So prefer I would prefer the orb image over the cosmetic if that's the case. Three, I added in which enha enhancements are lost through disjunction in the upgradable row. I didn't add the after disjunction image because I wasn't sure how to do collapsed images as suggested. Yeah, it, it wouldn't go in there anyway. It would go in the other side, and it's going to be a lot of magicry that I'm going to do. Hard to do without formula. Adding extra parameters is not ideal. I completely agree. Um, 
what I might do is add add the parameters and then make it a mouse over thing or a collapse thing. Um, I might even make it a tab thing where the first tab is vanilla, the second tab is um, what it looks like disjuncted. I got to talk to Zevo about adding an extension that makes doing tab stuff really nice and easy to do. Um, I think it'll be awesome. Five is added. I don't remember what five was. Added this with shot damage parameter. Setting this value to type of damage like light will adjust the number of correct values. I didn't add this. I use shoes fix. Okay. So a lot of stuff going on here. Um, named root arms, test cases. Let's open this up, edit, and slash sandbox, edit. Uh, test cases. Oh, I don't remember what I called it. Sandbox test cases? Maybe? Nope. So I'm just going to click on that. Scroll back down. See if I can search for it. Test case TOC. There it is. That's what I want right there. Template test case TOC. Save. Edit box. Okay. So now you can, you know, view the template, view the sandbox, test case, ah, test case, instead of test cases. So let's actually move this. Nope, wrong one. Move this one. Move page. Should be. Nope, actually, I like the idea of having it be test case or test cases. So what I'm going to do is instead of moving that, I'm going to edit. Test case TOC template. Bar sub pages.
Okay, if the test case page doesn't exist, check the test cases page. Make it test cases. Okay. That should fix this issue. So now when you come down here and you click on this, it'll take you here. Excellent. So there's a the sandbox, there's test case. And that brings us to the end of our show. Let's take a look at that test case real quick before we do the end of our show, though. Minimum level three. I wish there was a little bit of a cell padding there. Left and right. I don't care about top and bottom, just left and right. So that's candlelight. Do I have any rune arms on this character? Let me check real quick. There we go. There's the banker. Do you have any rune arms? Yeah, I do. I'm wearing a rune arm. Duh. Have any other rune arms? There's Thought Spike. I think I like that the best. So maybe put this on something black. Let's see here. I like to use these doors. What I do is I zoom right in and now I have a black area that I can set behind to take screenshots of things. So what I would do, I don't remember what button that is. It's slightly lower res. It, it is smaller. I'll, I'll give you that. However, it'll be more consistent. So it'll be easier to specify a 
a size for a box to put put the image in on the wiki instead of having some that are small some that are really big and having it distort them and make it very difficult that's kind of why the um the description image for what it looks like when you inspect it examine so the reason this is 420 px wide is because from here to here is 420 px or right about there so it's always that width the idea is i'd rather have it always be this width than try to So in order to do what I would like to see, I'd like to see it on a black background. So we got to do this. I got to turn around. All right, so this is what you'd have to do. You'd have to take multiple screenshots at exactly this size and resolution, right? or take a screenshot at this size and resolution to get the image. Personally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a series of, of pictures, 100 milliseconds apart, take about, I don't know, however long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So about eight seconds worth of um, pictures. So that's going to be 80 pictures all 100 milliseconds apart and then put them together in an animated gif so what i want to do is i actually want an animated gif of what it looks like going around i actually believe that i have a good 70 to 80 percent of the rune arms in the game on various ca characters are in my or in my bank um, so I will go through them all over the course of a few weeks because it'll take time to do them all uh, let's see here rune arms rune arms rune arms rune arms they're probably all in my bank of my artificer which would kind of make sense. Come on. Yep, there's one right there. There's Flame Warden. There's Thought Spike. There's archaic device oh, do I have any others on this character no they'd all be on probably have some in my TR cache there's another thought spike so I could actually just junk that one to get stats from that yeah most of them are oh commendations cool um, Most of them are going to be on my artificer, but yeah, I want to get actually get animated orb images to put up there. Um, I do like light spirals being there, although I probably wouldn't set it on top. I'd probably set it to the side over here. And I'd probably change attack to charge. Upgradable Kenneth Crafting. I don't actually think that we need 
bat. I would rather have... Um... Because everything's gone. Except for the rune arm imbue. The, the charge tier. So other than the imbue and the charge tier. Everything gets wiped out. So... What I would rather have is... Instead of doing this, just put Kenneth Crafting in there. And then if there's an effect that isn't lost in disjunction, I would put a little note next to it in the enhancement line saying... Or I'd even change the bullet type. Make it so that the bullet type stays... So maybe what I'll do is I'll add... Instead of it being so that... I know, I'm running a little bit over today. Instead of it being so that you do enhancements as a bulleted list, like this, maybe I'll have it be enhancement 1, enhancement 2, enhancement 3, and then have it be... Enhancement number enhancement number um what's the word I'm looking for? Static maybe? Enhancement number static? True or false, have it be a boolean value. And if it's set to true, it'll change the, the bullet type to... Um, oh, MDN list uh, CSS3 th list bullet type list style type that's what I want can I change just a single bullet no I'd have to change all of them I can't do just a single bullet so we just put it you know we just put a single undisjuncted next to it or something and then we make the undisjuncted template be something like um span style equals no oh, we're not we're not even do a span we'll do an a b b r style equals title equals sp um no abbr abbr will abuse the abbr um title will be title one Nope. To this effect persists through disjunction one and Dagger 
something like this. Weight, bold, color, CE, 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 something like this. And then show preview, it'll add. I don't like the bold. Get rid of the bold. How about something like this? Example effect, little thing up there you mouse over, this effect persists through disjunction. Simple enough. Color could be a little bit darker. Um, get rid of those. Get rid of the sups if we do that and just add it as a style. MDNCSS3 Line sup vertical line so we can just do a vertical line super Make it a little bit smaller. Um, I can look it up. I can never remember. Um. Text decoration style. Text decoration line. Let's try that. Text decoration line. That doesn't get rid of it. There we go.
text decoration, let's just do none important. Oh, it's, it's the bottom border. There we go. That gets rid of that. All right, so what was the other thing? The cursor? Question mark. Do we like the question mark? How about MDN CSS three cursor? Pointer auto, we could set our own. There we go. Keyword values, default. Help, context menu, pointer, progress, cell, crosshair, no drop. I kind of like no drop or not allowed. Let's try not allowed. There, now it'll be a red red circle. Although I don't like the way that it flickers on my screen for some reason. We're going to go with that. There. We now have undisjuncted. Or maybe it should be undisjunctable. A B L E. It's on a gray background, so it's kind of hard to see. We should, maybe we maybe we'll change the color of it. Um, you want to make it a red? Ooh. We're not going to get to template talk quest today. We're already 23 minutes over, and we still haven't even done our giveaway yet. All right, let's do our giveaway. Red? Okay, we'll do that. Let's roll for a winner. KK Oliver, congrats.
Save that. Alrighty. What was I doing here? We were going to change that to red. Hey, MRF, you just missed the giveaway. And I'm running 25 minutes over already. All right, let's change that to red. So if we change it to red, it's going to be... I don't quite want it FF red. How about... AA. And I don't quite want it to be a dagger. Let's, um... Let's change... Let's change the icon. Let's change it to this. It's not the default place, I don't think. It should be mouse look. Button zero is attack. Button one is classic steer. Uh, button three is jump. Control wheel for shortcut bars. I don't have button two defined. That would be middle mouse button, which is my scroll wheel. Yeah, it's not defined. Button three is jump, button four is map, but I don't have button two defined. Doesn't do anything. I don't think it's ever been defined, to be honest. I've actually never thought of defining it as anything. Anyway. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in.
Um, next week, if I stream, I'll be starting late. Um, I don't expect to be back home from the doctors in time to stream before 10 o'clock. Um, the week after, I will be streaming October 3rd. Um, and we will be doing that other thing I said we would, we would, we would be doing, um, there you go. That's a great idea, actually. Uh, what was the other thing I said we would be doing? Template talk quest, optional XP. Now that I'm thinking about it, let me update the date on that. Um, so we will be fixing the optional XP template as one of the things that we do on October 3rd. Have a great week, everybody. I look forward to seeing you then.